Hey guys, what's up? So, right now, as you can see, I'm showering, right? This is different since I live in an apartment now and not my car. But, it's nice. I can shower whenever I want. But, there was a time where I wasn't able to do that, right? So, uh, after I'm done with this, let me tell you three ways that I shower for free while living in my car. You guys ever have a shower where your whole soul just feels clean? Yeah, that was right now. Just... Hey guys, welcome back. Or, if you're new to the channel, my name is Sierra, aka Ride and Dirty. I recently moved out of my vehicle, which I was living in for about a year and a half, off and on. But, during that time, I feel like I didn't get to fully share that experience with everyone. You know, because I'm not going to lie, pretty inconsistent with the uploads. But I feel like I still have a lot more to share when it comes to all of that in my whole experience. So from now on, this video is going to be um, about me living in my car, but also from the perspective of that I used to live in my car and just living in the small, tiny studio apartment that I have now. So if that interests you, stick around, you know, subscribe if you want to. So way number one of how I got to shower for free while living in my car. Now I have a whole video about this, so go ahead and check that out if you'd like. But before I got a gym membership at Planet Fitness, I was able to shower for free by doing that. And I'll explain the whole experience and process. It's pretty simple actually. So you're gonna go to the website of Planet Fitness. You're going to click on one of the actual locations and then you'll scroll down. It's gonna say request a day pass. When you get to that part, it is going to ask for your personal information, like your name, your last name, your date of birth, and an email address. And when you get to the location, um, you'll have to access that email address and show them that. And you have to have a photo ID when you go in there. And this is something that I never had to do, but I think the whole stipulation of you being able to do that is you have to take a tour of Planet Fitness because you know they're trying to sell you a membership. Like I said, I never had to, but just be prepared, that might be a thing. All right, so let's move on to the second way that I was able to shower for free while living in my car. So the second and probably most obvious way is asking a friend to use their shower. Something that I tried to do very sparingly, but you know, I met some good people and they were willing to do that for me. Like, hey man, uh, I don't really feel like going to the gym today and I don't feel like working out. Can I use your shower? They said, yeah which was actually really nice. Okay, so the third way that I was able to shower for free is using a homeless resource center called The Courtyard. Now, admittedly, there's a little upfront work with that one. So you have to be willing to go in there and, you know, I gotta say, it's not for everybody. Anyways, you have to go in there and You have to meet with a counselor or a caseworker, I guess, case manager. So they'll do your intake paperwork, find out who you are, take down all your information, the things that you struggle with, uh, your, if you're homeless and all that stuff, right? And they'll give you something that's called the clarity card once they're done with that. So then after that, you use the clarity card to access different resources. and you would go into the courtyard and you would access those different resources. They have bins to store your belongings. They have access to medical. You can get your mail sent there and you can take a shower. There are two different ways to do that though. If you have a job, you have to be work verified. So you have to be able to prove every two weeks that you are in fact employed. Then they'll put you on a list and say, hey, you guys are the people that have jobs. You get, I don't know if it's priority, but a different shower than most people. Other than that, you just sign up and you get your name on a list and you wait in line and you take a shower. Something else to note though, if you're going to go to the courtyard to take a shower, um, I have to be upfront and honest that I only did it one time. I accessed the courtyard for other things and I went there a handful of times, maybe about six or seven, but I only showered there one time. 
The reason for that being is that I have never in my life, and I do mean never, seen such a dirty shower. Just have to be honest. So go at risk, your own risk, and make sure you have shower shoes. That's all I have to say. I tried it once and let's just say I never tried it again. So guys, those are the three ways that I took a shower for free while living in my car. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys here. I, I say this a lot, but your support is absolutely priceless. And I hope you come back for the next one.